Last month was the end of an era for Qantas as the last Boeing 747 left its fleet. The aircraft had been with the carrier for nearly five decades and it helped revolutionise Australian air travel. However, there is a new lease of life for the Queen of the Skies as Rolls-Royce will use a unit to test current and future jet engine technology that will transform flight and reduce emissions. This process will set new benchmarks for efficiency. The 747-400 held registration number Victor Hotel Oscar Juliet Uniform and was flying with Qantas for 20 years. Altogether, it has flown more than 70 million kilometres and carried 2.5 million passengers with the help of four Rolls-Royce RB211 engines. The Jumbo will be fitted with the latest testing capabilities, fitted with engines that power both commercial and business jets. Ultimately, flying test beds are used to perform altitude testing and analyse technologies in flight conditions. While with Qantas, the plane went by the moniker of Lord Howe Island, however, its new operator will be giving it a new name, which is still being decided. Nonetheless, it'll be flown by a team of specialist test pilots who combine engineering expertise with years of experience flying commercial, military and test aircraft. Since October, the 747 has been at Aero TEC's flight test centre in Moses Lake, Washington. Here, it'll undergo an extensive two-year transformation. Engineers and technicians will convert it from a 364-seat commercial jet to a flying test bed fitted with comprehensive instrumentation and systems. Altogether, the project is part of Rolls-Royce's intelligent engine vision, where engines are connected, contextually aware, and even comprehending right from their time on the testbed. The Queen of the Skies will become the jewel in the crown of our global test programs. This is a significant investment that will expand our world-leading test capabilities even further and will allow us to obtain more flight test data than ever before. Gareth Hedeker, Rolls-Royce Director of Development and Experimental Engineering. On completion of the transformation, the 747 will work alongside Rolls-Royce's existing flying testbed, which is the 747-200. This unit has already performed 285 tests. One of the criticisms of the 747 is that it's unable to compete with modern aircraft when it comes to efficiency. Yet it's now proving to be a useful tool to improve effectiveness going forward. It's sad to see such a legendary aircraft disappear from passenger airports across the globe. However, it is heartwarming to know that several units are still flying in some way. Furthermore, they're helping to support the next generation of aircraft. Undoubtedly, this 747 is in good hands at Rolls-Royce's facilities. What are your thoughts about the Qantas 747 becoming a Rolls-Royce flying testbed? Do you think this is a good move for the engine specialist? Let us know what you think of the project in the comments section. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.